Tiki's got the tickets. I sure do, Rob. Four tickets. One, two, three, four. Whee! I can't wait. All those space games and rides. Rock and robots. Me too, Emma. Wait, where are Orbit and Squeak? Right here. <gasps> what happened to Squeak? <laughs> I guess Squeak got a little dirty cleaning the rocket's landing gear. Oh, hmm. A little dirty? I'd say he got a lot dirty. We can't take Squeak to the space throw like this, can we? Sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Today. We need to get Squeak clean so we can all go to the space fair. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Book Planet! Oh, I love reading. Me too. But reading isn't going to get Squeak clean. Circus Planet! <laughs> Think of all the clowns! Fun! But they'll be too busy clowning around to help Squeak. The scrub a dub planet. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, the scrub a dub planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Squeak and the Super Sudzer. Next, 
It's the scrubbers. Is it almost done? We're going to miss the fair. <laughs> Faster? That doesn't sound good. No! <laughs> no, it doesn't. Maybe we should turn it off. Oh no. I think I broke it. The switch is stuck. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It's almost finished. All that's left are the buffers. <laughs> Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Scrubbadil planet so Orbit could get clean. We learned it's best not to rush things because we broke the Super Sensor machine trying to make it go faster. But Emma and I had fun finding the missing parts. TK had fun fixing the machine. And we all had fun getting clean again. 
we learn that just doing the things we like to do can be just as much fun as going to a fair. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, scrub a -dub planet. Sounds like a difficult mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Playground planet. <laughs> I don't think a playground will help us with our mission. <gasps> the music planet? I don't think we'll find any puzzle pieces there. Now that looks like the perfect place to find a puzzle piece. Yes, the puzzle planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Runs out. 
An octagon has eight sides. Ooh, ooh.
Yes, Rob, you're back. What did you learn in your life? Well, we had to do three puzzles. The first one was a puzzle we had to sort by shapes, and we all worked together to solve it in time. For the second puzzle, we learned how to play tic-tac-toe. Orbit didn't like the game at first, but he kept at it and helped solve the puzzle. The third puzzle was remembering a pattern. It was tricky, but Orbit learned how to remember things by watching and listening carefully. He solved it and won the puzzle piece prize. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Puzzle Planet! Oh, hi everyone! You're just in time! Today is a rocket cleanup day. Come on! See? We're going through our stuff, getting rid of things that are old or broken, like these rocket boosters. Huh? Yeah! Three points! I've got more stuff, Rob. Junk box coming through! Whoa! <laughs> Orbit, I had everything neatly organized. But you bumped into me! No, you weren't watching where you were going. Whoa, easy there, cranky bots. It was just an accident, right? And no matter what happened, we can all work together to clean things up. You're right. I'm sorry, Orbit. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's tidy up this mess. Okay. Huh? Hey, TK, isn't this your favorite teddy Mr. Fuzzy was? What's he doing in the junk pile? He's looking kind of old and tired these days. I think it's time to throw him out. Aw, poor Mr. Fuzzy was. Are you sure you want to get rid of him, TK? <sighs> yes, I'm sure. Okay, then I guess we're finished tidying. Now all we need to do is find a place to dump all this stuff. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can get rid of our junk. Oh, it must be rocket cleanup day. Okay, let's see where you can go. The bowling planet? Well, that's a good place for tossing bowling balls, but not for tossing our junk. The ocean planet? You should never throw junk in the ocean. The junk planet! <laughs> yes, the junk planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. junk here, it's overflowing. 
and we're only going to add to it. It looks like this planet could use its own cleanup day. Hey, maybe we should mention it to that garbage bot. Garbage bot? Mm. I'll go get him. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Garbage Bot! Rob, wait! Hi, Mr. Garbage Bot. I'm Rob, and I'm... Out of your robot mind! Don't you know you never make friends with a scrap metal-loving garbage bot? Uh, why not? Why not? Because he might mistake you for garbage! Hi! <gasps> Orbit? Where'd he go? Here's some more boxes. Did you find the garbage bot? Yes, but he took off, and so did Orbit. Have you seen him anywhere? Yes, but he was in a real hurry. I think he was on his way to get more boxes. Oh, good. Well, I guess we should get to work. Huh? Why would someone throw away a perfectly good clock? It could be fixed, easily. See? It's running. You're right. It's really ticking along. Ooh. Hey, look. These are cosmically cool. Do you think you could fix these, too? Uh, sure. They're totally fixable. Why would someone throw them away? You know, it seems to me there's a lot of stuff on the junk planet that could be fixed. And donated. Or given to others who could use it. Right. And some things can even be recycled, like this plastic bottle. Rockin' robots! We really can make today planet cleanup day. What do you think? Yes, we can sort and rescue things that can be fixed up, reused or recycled. It'll be our new mission. Wait, I just thought of something. I shouldn't have thrown away my teddy. He can be fixed too. I'll go and get him. Mr. Fuzzy was. Oh no! Where'd he go? Don't worry, TK. We'll find him. Toys just don't disappear. Unless. Oh no! We've got to find TK's teddy before the garbage bot thinks he's junk! <gasps> Good idea, Orbit. You keep that bot busy while we find TK's teddy. Yeah! <laughs> So much junk. We sure need to cut down on what we use. Oh, is that TK's teddy? Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thank goodness for rocket boots. Mm. Glass, plastic, tin. No sign of Mr. Fuzzy was. Hmm. We should set up some bins on the rocket so we can recycle there, too. Did you find him, Orbit? Who? The garbage bot? No, I think I finally lost him. Not the garbage bot, my teddy. Mr. Fuzzy was? Oh, well, he's right over there. Mr. Fuzzy was! You found him? Uh, yes. Uh, and the garbage bot. <laughs> We've got to do something. Wait! Hi, I'm Rob. Up there is my friend's teddy bear. Please don't zap him. He's not junk. He could be fixed. Actually, there's a lot of stuff around here that can be fixed up and reused or recycled. So, what do you say you put down the garbage tray? Maybe we can give you a hand and make this a happy planet cleanup day. Yeah! <gasps> <gasps> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Ooh, look! I 
think some lucky robot would like to have this toy. And I bet some lucky alien could use this lamp. But these, these are definitely garbage! <sighs> wow! That was so cool! I love having an intergalactic garbage, pal! So, Mr. Garbage Bot, do you think you can keep up the recycling work when we're gone? Huh? our part two by taking some stuff back to the rocket like Mr. Fuzzy was. He's much too cute to be junk. We sure have a lot of stuff to donate. Maybe we can make a special stop at the donation planet. Yes, and I guess this is one big and tidy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today was our rocket cleanup day, so we took some of our junk to the junk planet, including TK's teddy, Mr. Fuzzy Was. There, we found lots of things that could be fixed up and reused, like clocks and radios, and even a pogo stick. And we found materials like bottles and cans that can be recycled. We even got TK's teddy back. Thanks to our new friend, Mr. Garbage Bot. But most importantly, we learned that we can all reduce what we use, reuse what we have, and recycle, even on the rock. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! You're just in time. We're testing Squeak Sniffer. Oh, we had a piece of yummy cheesecake to see if he could sniff it out. His nose just knows. Sounds like he found it. <laughs> he did. Good work, Squeak. Whoa! Uh -oh. What's that noise mean? It means our ship's getting low on fuel. Fuel is what gives our rocket the power to go. Like food gives us the power to run and jump and do everything. Right? Right, Emma. I'd say cheesecake is what powers Squeak. Look at him go! What powers the rocket? We need to find geyser gas, rocket rocks, and solar seeds. Mixed together, they make rocket power. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place where we can find fuel for the rocket. That's a very important mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The planet! You know, my greasy gears could use a good scrubbing. That might be true. But first, we need to find fuel for the rocket. Hello, planet! Yay! Sorry, but nap time will have to wait till after our mission. Power planet! I'm sure we can find rocket fuel there. Yes, power planet! Perfect choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
Stop Power Planet. Don't worry, Rocket. We'll get you more fuel just as soon as we can. Okay, we need two solar seeds from a solar flower, one rocket rock with rocket power, geyser gas from the ground below, put them together and the rocket will go, go, go. Right, we'll find them faster if we split up and if we use our senses. You mean like seeing, smelling, touching, hearing, and tasting? Yes. Pop's right. For example, a solar flower smells sweet. Ooh, I'll find one. Huh? Want to help me sniff out a sweet-smelling solar flower squeak? <laughs> then let's go. <laughs> I think you should get the rocket rock, Rob. Sure. Uh, but why me? <gasps> now I know why. One rocket rock coming up. We'll get the geyser gas orbit. Uh, gas is usually stinky, so we can use our sense of smell to find it, right? Nope. Hmm? Geyser gas has no smell. <gasps> Did you hear that? Come on. Uh... Whoa! Is that what I think it is? Yep, it's geyser gas, all right. We can't smell it, but we can hear and see it. <laughs> this is going to be easy. of a plan B, that is. Do you smell a solar flower? Oh, where did those rascally rocks go? I can't see them anywhere. But I sure can hear them. Gotcha! are rocket fast. They must be full of energy. So, you want to play, huh? Way to go, Squeak. You did it. <laughs> I mean, your nose did it. Hmm, I can see the solar seeds, but how will we get them from way up there? Good idea. Okay, hop up. Got him! Two solar seeds from a solar flower. Whoa! <laughs> I can feel the energy inside them. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, Squeak. I was so excited, I almost forgot you. I wish those geysers weren't so noisy. I can't think. Noisy? That's it. The geysers make a noise before the gas gushes out. So we just have to listen for the pop, pop, popping. <laughs> that one. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Over there. That one.
good. Why can't we put the fuel in Neo? Because the gas, the seeds, and the rock all have to go in at the same time. Then I sure hope Rob and Emma get here soon. Is this soon enough for you? Rob, you got a rocket rock. Yeah, or maybe it's got me! Whoa! Oh, but where are Emma and Squeak? Here we are! With two solar seeds full of solar energy, just like you asked. All thanks to Squeak and his super duper smell sniffer. Ooh. Quick, put the rock and the seeds in this tank. <laughs> Now wait here while I fill her up. It's okay, Rocket. Tiki will have you all powered up in no time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> Rocket's back to full power. And that means mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to the power planet to get fuel to fill the rocket tank. TK and Orbit had to get gas from a geyser, so they used their sense of hearing to guess which one would erupt next. Squeak used his sense of smell to help Emma find some solar seeds. So we learned that our senses can help in lots of different ways. And we all got the power our rocket needed. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye! There's only one more day till it begins. Ooh, hip hop music. Now that would be a cool dance to learn. Come on, everyone, give it a try. It's called popping. <laughs> Yikes! Oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay, Orbit. You didn't. How will we pick a dance routine without music? We need to find music. Um, uh, hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. but we broke our stereo. We need to find a place that plays music so we can learn a dance routine. Oh, I love dancing. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, a pirate planet. A pirate adventure would be exciting, Orbit, but it's not the right place for practicing a dance routine. Oh, I really like playing board games. Board game planet sounds like fun, but I don't think it's the right place to find a music player, TK. What about this planet? It looks and sounds like it might do. You chose music planet, <laughs> the perfect place. Get ready for countdown.
explosive planet. choose from. Emma's right. We'll just keep searching until we find one that suits your cool wheel. But we only have one day to the competition. There's not enough time. Come on, we'll find something we can all dance to. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, the macaroni. I love this one. Come on, everyone, get off your seats and try it with us. Ready, everyone? Here we go. Raise your right arm up. Now your left. Right hand on your tummy, and then your left. Right hand behind your head, left hand behind your head. Now, wiggle your body like a noodle. Right hand on your bottom, left hand on your bottom. Swing your hips to the left, then to the right. Yay! Oh, TK, are you all right? That's it. I quit. I'm terrible. I'll never be able to dance. But TK, we can't enter the competition without you. <sighs> TK, I promise we'll find a dance that's perfect for you. You'll see. Let's try this record player. Hey, check it out. Rock and roll box. Tummy trunk we could use? Hmm. Uh, hmm. One little balloon won't be enough to lift you up. Oh. Hmm. Aha! This trampoline would bounce you high enough to reach, but 
It wouldn't be very safe. Aha! A car jack. It's used for changing flat tires. We can use the jack to lift you up. to choose from. Oh, this one sounds like fun. It's called the Robot Boogie. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we were trying to find a dance for the Intergalactic Space Dance Competition. So we traveled to the Music Planet. There were all sorts of music players, and each one of them played a different style of music. We learned so many cool new dance moves. We needed to find a dance that would work for all of us. We then tried a dance called the Macaroni, but without hips, TK couldn't finish some of the moves. She was getting very discouraged. So then we tried dancing to rock and roll. All of us really liked it, but I got a little carried away and hurt my foot. That's when we found an old jukebox. We never gave up, and guess what? We found the perfect dance for all of us, the robot dance. Good mission, Rob. Well done. We'll be just in time for the dance competition. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Instrument. I don't have an instrument. Not even cymbals? You can have mine! <sighs> no, not even cymbals. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's got to be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. It's time for us to pick a planet. an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop concert. Oh, I love music. Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo I? I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. 
Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Monkey planet. Yes! I don't think monkeys spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma. Book planet. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band planet. That could work. Yes, the band planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. something else. for a saxophone in our band? your instrument? What if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey! This looks cool! <laughs> it's a drum set! I've always wanted to try one of these. Ooh. Hey! We're the drumsticks! <laughs> <laughs> 
We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect. <laughs> Do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? Wow, Orbit! That was great! Oh! Drums are awesome! I'm never gonna find an instrument I can play. Rob has a saxophone, TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, Embos! <laughs> And I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La 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 That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you! I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right! Great idea! Do you think it will work? Of course! Your singing is great! Oh, I know something that can help. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one, two, ready, go! Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> we went to Band Planet to help Emma find an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Pop Contest. Playing notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, think so, Orbit. It sounded like you. It's the both of you. And, and you. You're all squeaking. And I think I know why. Everyone, even robots, need two things every day to stay healthy. A good breakfast and exercise. That's why we're squeaking. Because we don't get enough exercise? Yes! A little exercise is all you need to get rid of those squeaks. Well, that sounds like we have a mission! <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet.
Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need somewhere we can exercise to get rid of our squeaks. Exercise is always good. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bye, planet! We'll need to wash up there for sure after we exercise. No veggie planet! Hmm, not the right place. Hmm? But let's go there later for a snack. Hey, that looks like a place where we might get rid of our squeaks. Yeah! The Exercise Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Exercise planet. Look at that. That's fine form right there. Yes, I like the way I look. How do you like it? Ah, it's good to stay in shape. I am Quaid, the fitness instructor. What's all that squeaking? Uh, it's you? Uh, that's why we're here. Emma says a little exercise is all we need to get rid of them. Yes, your squeaky joints need exercise. Come with me if you want to get fit. of that squeaking, you need to exercise for one half hour. A half hour? A whole half hour? But Emma said a little exercise. Don't worry, you'll see. The time will fly because you will be having so much fun. Now, I need to find my stopwatch so I can time your workout. Wait for me, but whatever you do, don't push this button. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'll be back. <gasps> Maybe lifting weights and doing push ups is fun for Quaid, but not for us. Ooh, what about playing catch? That's exercise we could do. We can use this ball. Uh.
boy. fun. This is my Triminator 5000. It's an exercise machine. Chasing it around keeps you trim and fit. You said not to push the button. That's because I wanted you to wait so I could exercise with you. I love to exercise. That was fun. And I feel great. Of course. Just running around playing sports or games is all good exercise. And the best exercise is fun exercise. Am I right? Yeah! Okay, now check for squeaks. <laughs> Whoa! The exercise worked! No more squeaks! <laughs> Mission accomplished! <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd been sitting around doing nothing for so long, we started to squeak. So we went to the exercise planet for some exercise. We met a trainer named Quaid. But before he could teach us how to exercise, we turned on his robot by mistake, and it ran away. So we chased after it, and did a lot of hopping, lifting, swinging, and lots of running, trying to catch up to it. But that's what the machine was supposed to do. Quaid helped us learn that running, jumping, and playing games and sports are all good ways to get exercise. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Now buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Quade. Goodbye, Exercise Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We're playing circus. Oh, 
supposed to be up in the air orbit. Yeah, not on the ground. Well, there's nothing to tie it to. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do something, Rob. What can you do? Well, I can, um, I can, I, I think it would be fun to see a real circus with real circus performers. Yeah! Okay then, that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. The Toolbox Planet. I love tools. You sure do, TK. But we want to see jugglers. The Thimble Planet is a great place to go if we wanted to learn to sew. But we want to see acrobats. Oh. Oh, now that looks like the place to go. Yay! <laughs> Yes, the circus planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Strange. It must be the quietest circus ever. I don't hear a sound. What does the sign say, Emma? It's a rhyme. We're taking a break and have gone away, so the circus is closed huh? just for today. We've worked so hard, it's for the best. Please stay and play and be our guest. Rusty Robots! What fun is a circus planet without a circus? But the sign says we can stay and play here, Orbit. Maybe we can put on our own circus. Huh? That's a great idea, Emma. I could be the juggler. And as you all know, I could be the acrobat. And this is my chance to try walking on a tightrope up in the air. <laughs> what are you going to do for our circus, Rob? Uh, um... Well, um, it's a secret. Okay, then. Let's go see what we can find to use in our circus acts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what am I gonna do? <sighs> oh, hi, Squeak. Have you come to see the show? TK's gonna juggle, Emma's gonna be an acrobat, and Orbit's gonna walk a tightrope. What about me? Mm, I can't do anything. I can't juggle, I'm not an acrobat, and I can't walk a tightrope. You think there must be something I can do? Okay, let's go see if I can find something to do for the circus show. But I don't think there is. Hmm, Emma, TK, and Orbit must be back there getting ready. Should we take a peek? Ooh. Wow! You think 
I should try to juggle like TK Squeak? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'd need a lot of practice to be a juggler like TK. Rope, but I think I can do this. I guess I need a lot more practice to learn to do that, too. I need a lot more practice to do what Emma does, too. I'm ready to do my circus show. Me, too. And me, three. How about you, Rob? Uh, um, well, I'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'll just have to tell them the truth. I don't have any circus talent. I can't put on a show like they can. <sighs> think I'm funny? Then maybe I can put on a circus show like the others. I can't be a juggler. I can't be an acrobat. And I can't be a tightrope walker. But I can be... did you learn on your mission? I could be funny and make him laugh. 
so. I did a circus clown show. Well done, everyone. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, See where you can go. Potato Planet? Um, let's keep our eyes peeled for another one. Sports Planet? That's a great place to play games, but not video games. Let's keep looking. Arcade Planet! Yeah! That's the perfect place! Yes, the Arcade Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Running or jumping over the rolling robot wheels. 
than I did. Yeah, but now we only get to watch them play. That's no fun, is it? Look, Emma, it's the last level. Robot climb. If we make it to the top, we win. Isn't that great? Yeah, I guess, but it's not as much fun without TK in orbit. Let's go. Last one to the top is a rusty robot. <laughs> Wait, Rob, what are the rules? It's easy. Just hop on the platform, but don't hop on the red one. Oh, great. Easy for you. You've played this game before. Oh! Hi, Emma. You rock, kind of. Looks like it's game over for everyone but Rob, huh? Woohoo! I'm almost there, guys. We're gonna do it. We're gonna win. That's great. Go for it, Rob. Hmm. Yeah, run, robot, run. Go, Rob, go. Counting space bugs. Look at Rob go. What an expert. He's gonna do it. Run, run robot, robot, run. run. minute I'm gonna win without my friends <sighs> but we came here to play together huh? you were one hop away from the top then you hopped on the red platform on purpose why did you do that our mission was to play the game together and it's no fun winning unless everybody has fun Come on, team. Let's take another run at Robot Run. Only this time, at a level we Yay! can all enjoy. <laughs> Complex. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? on the arcade planet, we all started a real-life version of Robot Run. Only, it wasn't that much fun for TK, Orbit, and Emma, because I knew the game better than they did, and they had trouble keeping up. I learned that it's not fun to win all by yourself, and we decided to try again, this time at a speed we can all enjoy. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye. can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Maybe someone else should have a turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try... A merry-go-round! Hop on, everyone! Quick, follow me! I'm the leader! Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> Bit. You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit! It's Rob's turn! Rob's the leader! Let's go! Follow me! to me, I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys. Wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? Do you have anything that can help us get Orbit down? Um... My trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh... Uh... Okay! Jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Playground Planet!
just in time. Today is Imagination Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right! And I'm going to be Interplanetary Rockstar Orbit. Yo! Oh, avast me, hearties. Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever. And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too. Me three. One, two, three. Now we need to find a place to put on our play. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've decided to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh, no. That would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play, either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theater planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk! Of course! I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Oh, shiver me timbers and a great big R! <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excellent eye patch you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit! Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> Avast me, hearties! Arr, it be treasure! Dawdlin' dawdlin'! 
There's at least a hundred space trolls out there. But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit. Quick, saddle up your horse. My horse? Huh? Wait a minute. No one's capturing me. I'm going to caught you. Those troll dudes are here for my show. Yow! Just ask Emma. She's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm jungle explorer Emma. I discover things and rescue poor, helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> poor rock star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if Jungle Explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da 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 -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rock star eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm the space sheriff. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean, these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way. We're at my concert. And you're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. Hmm. No, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do. No! Isn't this Imagination Day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on a play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Me too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. The Lost Coco Buku treasure. Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without you. Protect the statue. A vast rock star orbit. Yes! Later, dudes. Everyone, hot tail it for the hills. Space Sheriff mm -hmm. Rob will keep them busy while you folks escape. Eat pillows, space trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, Space Sheriff Rob. Thanks, Jungle Explorer Emma. Come me in, baby. Play, where we all played our favorite character. And we did it all together. Yeah! So I'd say it's... Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the theater planet to put on a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited.
delighted playing our own characters. We had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, we should always think about our friends too. We learned that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home and help buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Peter Planet! You're just in time! We're playing a game of space blocks! Oh! Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Careful, Rob! Uh. Oh! Huh? Okay. Huh. Our turn. Your go, Orbit. Somewhere we can build a life-size tower with giant building blocks. That sounds like a fun mission. Let's see where you can go. Sport Planet! A great place to find starting blocks, but we need building blocks. Origami Planet! <laughs> Perfect for building paper airplanes, but not for wooden towers. Whoa! That place looks towerific! <laughs> yes, the building block planet. Great choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Stop the building block plan. Let's 
Try it out! Er, uh, a castle? Huh? Maybe we should try something a little easier. What about this? Perfect! We can build this thing in no time. And the sooner we finish building it, the sooner we can knock it down. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Orbit, the goal is build something you can't knock down. Huh? Hey, I have an idea. Let's split into teams and see who can build their tower the fastest. And the strongest. Yeah! TK's on my team. I'm with Orbit. Woohoo! Yay! Let's do it! Ready, steady, build! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ow! Ow! Hmm. All the red ones are square shaped. And those orange ones all look like the letter L. Let's sort the blocks into different colors first. That way we can easily work out which ones to use for the foundation. Uh, the what nation? <laughs> foundation, Rob. Foundations are built at the bottom and keep a building strong and safe. A strong foundation stops it from falling over. I get it, just like our space blocks game. Mm hmm This will be the best tower ever! This is so easy, Emma. Look, we are way ahead of Rob and TK. We'll have our tower finished before they've even placed the first block. Whoopsie. I may have been a bit too fast there. <laughs> no problem. We still have plenty of time to build another. Only this time, we need to build even faster. <laughs> this foundation looks great. What's next? According to the picture, the next pieces are the blue blocks. Roger that. Blue blocks coming up. Slow builders, why are they taking so long? <laughs> <laughs> Only this time, we need to build at super speed. Super speed, my specialty. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. We're nearly there. We're at the final stage. According to the picture, there should only be two green blocks left. Triangle shape, right? Correct. Then we're finished. Woohoo! I wonder how Emma and Orbit are getting on. Hopeless. Every time we get close to the top, the tower falls over. Maybe we are not built to build towers. Hmm. Hey, you guys, don't give up. You can still do it. All it takes is a little patience and some help. The picture gives clues on what pieces go where. <gasps> the picture! Gosh, we got so caught up in the race, we forgot all about following the instructions. Hey, why don't we all help build the tower together? We'll have this up before you can say Bolt Boy! Bolt Boy! <laughs> <laughs> is a small white piece shaped like an upside-down letter U.
easy, does it, Orbit? Slowly. Just a little more. It's even more fun than knocking them over. <laughs> I guess that's one towering mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the building block planet so we could build ourselves a life-size tower. TK and I learned it's best to organize things before building. But Emma and Orbit weren't so organized. They decided it was better to build super fast. And each time they rushed, their tower toppled over before they could finish. We learned that if you're careful and follow the instructions, you can build almost anything. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five!